Hi everyone, welcome back, to the Make It Simple YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you the Jal by Baby Edit tutorial, using the CapCut application. Like this for example. Everybody trying to figure out your recipe, I'm just trying to get a piece, baby. Now that you wanna get crazy, crazy, shorty take it slow then chitty chitty. Okay, first of all, create a new project in CapCut. And add a photo or image to it. Open the format menu, and select a 916 aspect ratio size. Next, add a clip of the song Jow by Baby to the project. You can get the song in the comments I pinned below. After that, make a beat mark on the song through this match cut menu. Make the result like this. Everybody trying to figure out your recipe. I'm just trying to get a piece, baby. Now that you wanna get crazy, crazy. Shorty, take a slow, then chitty, chitty. Good. The next step. Extend the duration of your image to about 5.2 seconds. Then add a keyframe at the beginning. And another one in front of the first beat mark. On the keyframe at the beginning of the clip. Increase the size of your image just a little bit. Like this. Also add a keyframe to the first beat mark. Increase the size of your image. And drag it to the right. Then add another keyframe in front of it. Next. Add a keyframe to the second beat mark. Drag your image to the left. And add another keyframe in front of it. Do the same for the third and fourth beat marks to make a zigzag motion on the image. Add one more keyframe at the end of the clip. Then set the size and position of your image to normal. Next, between the first and second keyframes, open the graphs menu and select the O3 effect. Do the same for the other middle of the keyframe, but choose the N3 effect. And for the middle keyframe at the end, select the O3 effect again. Baby. Okay. For now, this is the result. Everybody trying to figure out your recipe. I'm just trying to get a piece, baby. Good. The next step. Add one more photo or image. And extend the duration to the end. Add a keyframe at the beginning of the clip. Then increase the size of your image. And drag it to the bottom. Like this. Also add a keyframe at the end of the clip. Then drag your image to the top. Next. Right at the position of the second photo clip, open the video effects menu. Tap on the basic category. Then select the effect named. Camera shake. Extend the duration of the effect to the end. Open the adjust menu. Then set the range to 20 and 14 for the speed. In the same position, open the overlay menu. Then add the same image as the first. Extend the duration to the end. 
copy it. Then move the copy down. Next, add a keyframe, at the beginning of all overlay videos. For the first overlay video, go to the mask menu. Select the split option, then rotate the split line counterclockwise to minus 60 degrees. Do the same for the second overlay video. But rotate the split line clockwise to 120 degrees. After that, roughly in this part of the song, add another keyframe. Then drag the first overlay video to the top right corner, like this. Do the same for the second overlay video, but drag its position to the bottom right corner. Next, add another keyframe at penultimate beat mark and drag your first overlay image again, to the top left corner. Do the same, for your second overlay image. After that, add one more keyframe to the last beat mark, then change the position of the overlay image to normal. In the same way, also change the position of the second overlay image to normal. Next, apply a graphs effect in the middle of each of the keyframes. For the middle of keyframe at the beginning and at the end, apply an N3 effect. And for the middle of keyframe in the middle, apply an out 3 effect. Good. Our next step, is to create a white flash effect, especially for the second photo. To do that, open the overlay menu, then right at the first beat mark in the second image. Add a white background. That is in this stock video menu. Increase the size until it covers the image below. Then cut the duration to 0.1 seconds. After that, open the splice menu, and select the overlay effect option. Continue by opening the layer menu. Then change the position of the layer to the first. Next, copy this white flash effect, all the way to the last beat mark. One more thing, set the duration of the second, fourth, sixth, and eighth white flash effects, to 0.3 seconds. Good. The last step, we will add for text, specifically for the first image. Right at the first beat mark, open the text menu. Type the text you want. Change the font type and color. And also give it a shadow. After that, increase the size of the text, and move its position as desired. Next, copy the text that you have created, three times, on each beat mark. Okay. Now, let's try to, see the final result. Everybody trying to figure out your recipe, I'm just trying to get a piece, baby. I know that you want to get crazy, crazy, shorty take it slow, then shit, deep, shit, deep. 
knowledge. You wanna get crazy, crazy. Shorty, take it slow, then chitty, chitty. Okay, guys. That's the Jal by Baby Edit tutorial using the CapCut application, that I can show you in this video. I hope this video is useful. See you in the other upcoming CapCut video tutorials, and thanks for watching. Everybody trying to figure out your recipe, I'm just trying to get a piece, baby. I know that you wanna get crazy, crazy, shorty take it slow, then chitty, chitty.